Hey, it's James from Active, and we're here to talk about another one of our innovations and designs from previous years that is still in the market today, and we wanted to get feedback on whether you wanted to see this design kind of come back to life on a future development. And specifically, it's this pressure washer, which is uh, or was sold in Europe, but we had versions of the design and the patent selling here in North America under various brands. So uh, it showed up at the Home Depot, it was at Canadian Tire, and is still selling today at Europe and I believe in some other retailers. So just another example of some of the design work we do here at Active Products. So the thing to really know about this product and really its reason for being is the unique cord and hose reel uh, spool that we were able to develop. A couple of the challenges of this product were really around how this whole part integrated with the rest of the unit, how we could keep the temperature down in terms of the uh, cord reel and how we would keep the usability of the hose reel itself. Obviously, with some of our consumer research, we found that storage and organization was a big pain point for a lot of customers. This particular design was done, I think, in around 2007. So it's quite an old design, but the research still stands and that pain point still exists for customers. So really, it was how do we eliminate the pain point of wrapping your cord or storing it and then managing your hose reel when not in use. And this design clearly makes it very uh, easy for the customer to do so. The other thing about the original design, which this is not the original one, this is actually a variation or evolution of the design that was eventually sold in Europe, was it also was able to be used in a vertical and a horizontal orientation. So we really tried to take a couple different form factors that were available in the market and combine it into one. So as mentioned, the key insight here was really how do you improve the customer's user experience in terms of how they manage and store everything. I think for the average DIY user who is using their product occasionally and putting it in the garage, this is a great solution for them because they're really just using it to pull out and clean something on occasion and put everything back. Of course, what we've learned for some of our products, people are using things like 50-foot hoses or they're mounting their units on the wall so a design like this really doesn't uh, apply to them. The other thing about something like this is that it's quite expensive to make, meaning a lot of the value that you'd see on a product like this really exists within kind of these storage and organization features, but the product itself is not meaningfully different from a performance point of view than some other units on the market. So as mentioned, a lot of the challenges with this product was how to engineer this whole piece to make it user friendly, to make it kind of easy to manufacture and make the quality consistent. And those were some of the technical challenges that we had to overcome. Uh, the design is quite mature now and as I said, you've seen this in the market for over 10 years. We've thought about reviving this hose and cord reel design on some of our other products um, and we do have designs for other brands right now that utilize this patent um, but if it's something that we think our customers at Active would like to see please let us know and we can incorporate it into one of our future designs here at Active. So as I said this product initially launched around the 2007 timeframe and the reception was great. Um, consumers found it very easy to use and I think we hit the target in terms of making a product that was convenient and easy to handle um, and consumers really responded well to it. Over the years, as I mentioned, the cost and complexity of making this product really drove the price points quite high and you know, as often happens at retail with the desire for something new and fresh, this design just got phased out and replaced by other designs. 
or there was some kind of cost pressures and we were forced to take out some of the functionality of the product. And that's just what happens sometimes in retail. So um, I still believe the concept is a good one for a certain segment of our customer base, uh, but perhaps not for everybody. Hope you guys found this interesting. And if you have any more questions or concerns, let us know. If you found this content interesting, please subscribe. And we hope to see you again soon where we'll describe more of our products and more of the innovations that we've done here in the past. Thank you.